welcome to an Exosis tutorial. So here we are in the morning time. We're gonna go into the complex. And today I'll be showing you the standard way of doing this, which is most easiest done with the shift magic. You can use double jump, you actually don't even need shift, I've tried it before, but it's ten times easier with shift, so here we go. So, I'm using shift with airborne and reach. The airborne is good if you get stuck above water, for example, you can hold down the same button to hover and save your life. It's not really ne necessary, but even professionals make mistakes, right? Like you. <laughs> and reach for the extended range. The next is I use as a parasite for more health. Now, it's good to bring what's, what I would call a portable HP with you. Portable HP is a concept that means that Colt does not need to stop for HP any time during the mission. I either have it on my Nexus or I have it on my guns as healing guns. In this case, the guns are heavy damage, so they don't need they don't need um, to be the healing type. Okay, so um, using uh, these two guns for heavy damage. And then I'm using Sprinter for fast speed, almost as fast as shifting across a map while running. Creeping Death is for when standing still and walking, you are as silent as crouching, so no need to crouch anymore on sneak up kills. Juiced up and never say die for extended magic and extended HP. So let's go to the complex. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. So the easiest method to go about this is the following way. It's five generators down. There's just one more to go. This one is rigged with mines and bombs and all that, as you well know. What a nightmare. But it's not that bad. So we're gonna bring the battery, the extra battery which I've put here with us. And I'm gonna shift over to the side that's closest to the wood panels. And not go too far in, so just right on top of it is fine. And then drop your battery here. And then you're going to gently I pull out a knife for this because I don't want to shoot by mistake especially when I'm tired, like now. And then I want to, just like you will now, sneak up very slowly, so so only millimeters at a time, step by step, here. pixel by pixel, here we go. Go up, and now we're just gonna nudge forward. So keep your aim on the mine. And you'll get this little icon. Disarm. And note that the turret is hacked. When I did the other generator, I hacked the turret, so make sure that's done or you'll get nailed here. So you only need to deactivate two of these, I've learned. So, after multiple, multiple tests before making this video for you. So, this is the next one. Feels too close, right? But pixel by pixel. So, nudge. Okay, it's not that difficult. Just have patience and you'll do it. And you need to be on the same level. That's the rule for these. So, this one up here that I'm pointing at now will most likely go off if I go up to it close. But these are at our level, right? So, that's the rule, standard rule. 
And now we can use this one to not make the grenade go off, the mine go off. So here we go. I like to catch these too, so let's see if I can catch this one. go. Not so difficult, is it? Don't forget the trinket up there. Uh, so there's a trinket right up there that you can grab by shift, but don't go this way. You know, don't you know, don't risk any of that. That's unnecessary. Instead, you shift over here. With reach, should be one go, and then up you go. Okay, and that's it. It's not more difficult than that. Try it out yourself.